gear up properly. This is where we first started at one time. All right, I'm gonna take the recurve, and I'll take my uh, rifle. urine spray, uh, scent eliminator, binoculars. Oh man, you've got way more spots. I didn't notice that you had more slots than me. I've only got the six oh. and the, that's my problem. Oh, okay. So I can, I can carry the scent eliminator, but I can't get the elk urine spray in my inventory yet. I mean, I have it, but I can't gotcha. carry it as well. You know, if you mouse over the backpack, it says your capacity can be increased by buying a backpack from the store, but there's only one. Right. Yeah, I, I think I earned that one just because of my uh, uh, level. I didn't actually, actually have to buy it. You can either reach certain levels. Like, once I hit a certain level, I'll unlock uh, the third slot uh, for a pistol. Uh, you know what? I better not take the rifle. I'm going to take the shotgun. Or not take the recurve, but I'll take the shotgun. In case Corbin shows up, he'll want me to use the shotgun. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go do some hunting. Sweet. I think uh, if you go to your map, try to draw an idea of where, where we'll go. Normally I have really good luck once we reach these fields right right here right around in that area oh <laughs> my little pen is stuck the uh, the second deer stand yeah the second deer stand and the third one there's like an open field there that's when you start to see the uh, elk And normally I don't start, I don't use the scent, scent eliminator until I actually get into contact with my first animal.
There we go. I had to send out a tweet too. Just use my phone instead. I hope they keep adding multiplayer competitions. Yeah, it's, it, this is normally pretty quiet, this part of the uh, map, where you're just kind of walking up to this first tree stand. I don't really remember seeing any elk before this first tree stand. Or deer stand. I always call these tree stands for some reason. There's no tree involved other than the uh, logs, the lumber. But by that definition, you could call a uh, three story wood house a tree stand. <clears throat> I think they actually just call them towers in this game. Yeah, towers. I've seen them, I think I've seen them called stands. Maybe. I'm not sure. In the forums. I don't know. Hop up here, take a quick look around here. Man, I got one of my biggest uh, bucks looking right down into that field about three years ago. Sweet. You never heard that one? Not that one before. Jeez. Yeah, go ahead and give it a few years ago. <laughs> that is strange. Some, some animals actually find that attractive. Some animals find Justin Beaver, uh, Beaver attractive. Go figure. Yeah, those animals are stupid. <laughs> yes. Stupid, stupid Bambies. Yeah, that's 
way outside the draw distance. Not a chance. Okay, let's head on. Continue on here. Unless you saw something. No, I haven't seen anything. This is where I normally, if I want to see him, they'll see him down in this little uh, uh, downhill area here. You'll sometimes see him off to the left or to the right of the road. And this will be about the earliest you see him. But then again, that was back when mule deer were on the map and not black tail deer, so <laughs> there have been a few changes since I. Uh, Let's play this uh, this map, but this map definitely does have them. first track it's a black tail I suck so bad at tracking black tail that uh, I don't get any information from the tracks I need to kind of make it my mission to start hunting blacktail more often. They're they're a little more skittish once they get in close. It seems like. I think that's why they have the uh, competitions where you have to get them within uh, like 25 meters or something like that with a pistol, with like the 44 Magnum or something, uh, with like a heart, yeah, like a heart shot. It only counts towards your score if you get it with a heart. I haven't. Of those at all. Yeah. That is your elk right there. Did you hear that? That's a male too. It's up here. Oh, imagine that. Right up here. So what we'll do is we'll uh, move up slow and uh, get up to the... Actually, we can move a little faster here. We're going to cut down this way. And uh, if you want to let out a call, that'd be fine. That's a male again. Look like the same one. Yeah, if you want to let out a call, we're going to actually move over to this uh, clearing so we get a nice good look as he comes up. I'll put your scent eliminator on too. Yeah, feel free to call out whenever you want in case he is walking away from us. You don't want to walk, have him walk out of distance because we know that we, we know that he's within that earshot right now. So this this is a normally a good rock to come up and peek over and check over the uh, the surrounding landscape of the field in front of you. But there's a He's, there's two fields. The road kind of goes where that. There's a rise to the to the right there. That's the road. And and it sort of cuts the field in two. So we're gonna kind of move over here. And call him in from over here. So let's go ahead and get low.
Okay, this should be pretty good. We should see him from a long way away. And then we can get we can get down prone when he comes across uh, over top of the road there. Oh, there he is. He interrupted me. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and see if we can make it to the tr to the uh, stand up here. Should be able to, and we'll still be about the same distance from him. drop down some scent too if you want to head for the uh, for the tower you want to use your uh, compound on them I can give it a try but I don't want to suck with it that'll be alright Good learning experience. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the scent in pretty close to the uh, to the tower. Then that way you have a nice like 20 meter shot. Okay, he's moving closer. Yeah, he already is. So I'll make sure that you have a nice unobstructed view. Uh, from where the uh, ladder looks down. You in the tower? Okay, you're 22 meters away, so I can see exactly how far you are. I'm going to drop the scent right here. There we go. Make another call out here, just in front of it. Alright, I'll come up and join you. Yep, he's coming. He's uh, he's uh, coming across the second road there. But uh, I think the call should... I always do the call just in front of the spray wherever I put that down. So the call's between me and the spray. Not sure if that works or not, just superstition. But you remember where I where I put it down? Now, yeah. should be should be able to basically put your dot wherever you want and the arrow should go there. Now you want to crouch too when you when you're actually ready to take the shot. Once he starts getting close. It'll help steady your aim just a little bit. Here he comes. Between the uh, trees there. He's pretty big. 320 to two, uh, 420 kilograms. I'd say he's bigger than a 35 score. <laughs> No, I'm showing 35 to 205 for a score. Check to see if he's got any friends. I don't think so, otherwise we would have heard him probably talking, more than likely. We'd be we'd probably be okay without the scent eliminator too, because of the way the leaves are falling. You can see how they're they'd be carrying our scent away from him. That's uh, another way you can tell which way the wind's going. Just watch the leaves. Yep, he's coming. Yeah, just uh, try to go middle of the body, just behind his uh, the top of his uh, armpit, and I'd wait for a profile shot. Here you go. There you go. He should stop at that scent for a while, and you don't want to hold it too long. You want to till just before you're ready to shoot. Otherwise, you'll get tired. And then space bar to steady. Okay, he should stop here shortly. There you go. Oh, he might stop again. Nice shot it looked like. I'm going to spot him for you as he's running. Yeah, he's 
going straight back, straight away. From yep, me. straight away. Let me uh, mark it with a dot. Here we go. Yeah, you definitely hit him. You felt like it was pretty good? Yeah. Good. I think you had him at perfect range. So, yeah, these, uh, with the compounds, I mean, you'll pretty much always have to chase him a little bit, especially as big as he is. It says a body shot, though, with the blood. But that's okay. Oh, you know what? Let's give him a second to settle down rather than chase him. We'll just sit here for a second. I'd say give him about, uh, I don't know, probably give him about two minutes here. I, I always do that. I always end up just getting down and immediately following the tracks and chasing him. And uh, it's really not the best way to do it. Should have brought my video game. Could be playing the uh, Lane Bandit right now. So, what do you think of the elk? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I like the the big game for some reason. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm not like going out too much for pheasant or anything like that. It just doesn't, for some reason, or turkey doesn't really interest me. Or hog. I like uh, deer bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and start following these tracks here. That's a female, it sounds like. Yep. Did you hear that one call out? Yeah. Did you hear the difference? Oh, definitely. It's, it's yeah. the same as the female and male moose. Right, exactly. One has a really crazy sound in yeah, you really, uh, you nailed him, though, because he's bleeding like crazy. Yeah. You, you'll get him. Yeah, it won't, it'll just be a matter of time for tracking him. I'm guessing sooner rather than later, actually. See it in front of you there. Yeah, is that the back of the field to our right that we saw before? Yep. That's, yep. Yeah, not not the field we saw, but the one that he was in. We couldn't see this field because of the road, uh, kind of going up in the in the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, that road there, that that uh field was split by uh. Oh, there's another. There's the, the females are out by our uh, scent at the tree stand. That's kind of funny. <laughs> now this is the point where we want them to kind of slow down and take it easy. Oh, I see him up ahead. I can see him glowing from here. He's down. Good shot, dude. With a with an arrow, I mean, bringing down an elk. That's that's a good shot. Now, before I uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. Before I started really using the 300 uh, rifle a lot, the, my uh, compound bow, my snake bite bow, was my number one weapon as far as kills. I love bow hunting. Can you see the arrow on that one? Oh yeah, that dude. Body shot? Yeah, that looks exactly where I would be aiming. Maybe just maybe like four inches back towards his tail was where I'd go. But that looks pretty solid. I think you might get... I don't know. Looks like you should be getting an organ with that. Whoa. It says body and right one. 
Oh, right lung? Okay. I don't know why we weren't getting lung blood. But yeah, no, good shot. 164 points. Yeah, you want to uh, get a picture? If uh, you stand there, I'll get a picture with you uh, You two. And then uh, you can try to do your own picture if you want. Are you messing around with the picture thing? Yeah, I still uh, I gotta get used to it. Yeah. You just gotta use that space bar to switch between the two. And then wherever you put his head, you can actually, while you have it held the way you want it, hit space bar again, and uh, it'll freeze it in that position, even if it's like defying gravity. Like switch modes, like switch from... Uh, the two modes that you can bounce between. So once you get your his rack wherever you want it, just hit the other one again. Did you get a picture? Yep. Cool. I didn't see you switch over to your uh, to your bow or anything to make it look good. Looked like you were hunting your... Uh, you just got a picture of the animal? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Oh no, that's all you want is a lung, dude. That's if you get a lung or the heart, you're gonna be in good shape. It will drop within, you know, that that amount of distance. That's about the max that you're gonna see it go. There's some black tail tracks here. Looking for some male elk. Norm, there's the turkey. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Fine. Yeah. Now there were females up here, so there might be males lurking around with them, but all I heard were females. Near our stand, or near our uh, yes stand tower. Try to get close to our tower and call out again, see if we get any emails to come. Peek down the road. We should. We might see some elk roaming around down there. Females. Might have moved on by now. Well, you got your first elk kill. Awesome. Yeah, I can I can definitely see how this game just gets addicting. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, especially during winter when there's like nothing to do outside. It's like freezing cold out, 20 below zero, something like that. And, uh, yeah, foot of snow on the ground. You just get yourself like a cup of coffee, man. Come out here and play some hunter. Blacktail's track there. Just kind of expecting to see a uh, female track here somewhere. <clears throat> right around where I deposited the uh, ear. Oh, there, there she is. She's right out in front of the stand. We'll climb up here see if we uh, can see any males also. There's a couple females. Oh, yeah, I see they were lined up between two of the stand legs. Kind yeah. Of so. yeah, I'm seeing three of them so far. Okay, there's more than that, but yeah. Well, you get your spotting skill up here a little bit. Bust out your binoculars. All right. They're sort of like uh, does. The they're not exactly the smartest ones. Okay. Not seeing any males. Let me know when you spotted all four. Yeah, that's what I got. That's what I counted. Did you get all four? I got three of them. Okay. Okay, we're good. Cool. Sometimes, you know, if I had a bow, I'd probably take a bow shot at one of them, but I don't really want to spook everything in the forest with a gunshot. And uh, getting a female, uh, getting a cow isn't a, isn't a big accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think you get scores or anything. For yeah, well, you get skill. I mean, it skills up your um, shooting and all the tracking and all that stuff, but that's about it. Only time it's good is if you're in an actual competition for females. Yeah. Now, I do see them um, occasionally down in that field to the left. It's a smaller field, but uh, this area right through here is where I, I tend to like to actually uh, kind of watch, just sit and watch and see if I see movement. I'll move a little bit, then I'll stop and just look. Turkey again. Different, different call, though. Yeah, that was a Tom, for sure. Kind that of was a female. Thing. That was a female. Yeah. That was? Yeah. They, you can't really tell the difference between them with turkeys. Yeah, I have enough skill with turkeys to know. Uh, which is which? Yeah, this is like a good spot to bust out some binoculars. You got like three avenues where you can kind of see deep into the surroundings. I'm not seeing anything, are you? No. No. 
you know where to go if you uh, get into a turkey competition. This this first field that we were just at where the elk was is where you start to find your turkeys also. The black tail track. You can see all the way down this road. There's another stand coming up here, just as it starts to cut back to the right over the horizon there. The horizon of the hill. More turkeys out in the field that we're coming up to. Too bad we weren't looking for turkeys. You can see the stand up there. It's kind of hidden. It's it's silhouetted into the tree. On the left edge of the field to the right. Yeah. Alright, what I like to do is I kind of swing a little bit out here. Man, I see black tail. Oh, there's there's something walking out there. Look to our right. And it is a... Ooh, it's a monster, dude. Look at the freaking... Right out in the middle of the field, dude. 400 oh, to 500 shit. kilograms. There's okay, the get low. Let's get low. Two. Okay, let's see if we can... The other one's a little bit smaller. Than that one. Are they both males? Yep. Okay, let's... uh. Get into a crouch here. I'm gonna try to take it here, the big one. Yeah, there's another one with it to the left also. Well, the, they switch spots. The one to the right is the small one. The one that was bigger. So, well, no, there's three. No, there's three, dude. Yeah. We're gonna have to watch out for that one. Yeah. Make sure you're crouched. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Okay. I am gonna take a shot. You might as well go prone. As soon as I get a chance, oh, he's starting to. Okay, as soon as he stops, there he goes. Watch out for that one to your right. He's in the yep. road. He's coming right at us. I can take him too. Dropped the big one. On the move, though. I had to do it. Yeah, the one to the yeah. left, the one to the right is running right back up the road where we came from. Yeah, that's, that's the, the other one. one ran straight back. I still see him. There were four. Oh no, it's three. There was a, that huge one you shot. Yep. A uh, medium-sized one that ran down the right, and that smaller one. Oh, he he did drop. Him. I just watched the feed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it looking clear still? The feed. Yeah, it looks really good. I can good. read the text and everything. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a, that was a big one. Of course, I've only seen a few, but that was nice. Cool. Man. Alright, we might as well stand up. No point in being sneaky about it. Yeah, I already scared the shit out of him. I would have um, tried to get in shotgun range for, for this one here, but with the slugs, because I have slugs. But uh, that one you were telling me was coming right up on us to the right, and I was afraid he was going to bolt. Because they are pretty sensitive. The yeah. Mill. Oh, you can see him out yeah. on the edge. See him way out in the back edge of the.
trees of the field? Yep, there's two back there. Yep, we'll be able to call them in. I think the one that took off might have. Yeah, they both. They're both spooked right now. There's a turkey running around between them. He saw his yeah, plume go up. There are three out there. There's another big one in the forest, in the woods. Okay, I lost where the heck the this one dropped at. Must be out here a little further. Get a get a photo here. He lose something that big? My God! Oh, it's over here to the right. All right. If you want to get next to me with your uh, bow or rifle out. Oops. Uh, looks like I'm in the wrong. Okay, fine. Yeah, if you want to get behind it. Left lung, right Dude, lung. Damn. Look at that rack. Holy shit. Yep. Get him set up like hello. <laughs> yeah, I need to move my player. Get the right rifle out. Yeah, you're good where you're at. Alright, you want to look back this way? That's a good picture, dude. Wait till you see the, uh... Yeah, wait till you see it on the stream. Alright, let's head up the tower, call them in. I'll drop some, uh... urine down here. You can bring down another one with your bow. Your mad, crazy bow skills. Now, the tough thing about towers and bows is you want them within 20 meters, but then you can only look down so much over those little half walls. So it's almost better to try to line yeah. them up with the uh, opening where the ladder is. But on this one, that isn't really a good... It doesn't really work because you got a bunch of trees behind you. So... Yeah, if you want to hop up there, I'll, I'll drop down some of the urine here. <laughs> Four meters there. Okay, I'm seeing it. Twenty meters here. So right at the right at the edge of this uh, shadow here, where I want to put it. Okay. There we go. Are they still out there? I don't see them anymore. Oh, they might have moved on. But we can try calling that a couple times. We know where they're at, so we can always go to that part of the field, or, or part of the tree line, and we'll find tracks and we'll track them from there. I see a turkey running around out there. Well, there were two, I think, two turkeys, I think there was three elk. Yeah, I think the one took off up the road, these two took off back where we saw them, near the tree line. There it goes, my scent eliminator has worn off. Oh, okay. It, has, it, it, it does tell you in the bottom right. Oh yeah, yeah, I knew it did. It's just a matter of actually catching it when it happens. Uh, 
I can see the turkey out there, but then, oh, there it is, okay. Couldn't see it because of all the uh, grass it was getting drawn in. So did you see that trophy shot? Yeah, it should have. Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Sounds glitched on that turkey a little bit. For me. It's moving up too. I can see strutting through the grass out there. Yeah. Black-tailed deer, female, just called out. Try doing another uh, call with the elk call. Yeah, that's why it's important to uh, keep your eyes on when you're walking around because you never know what you're going to turn and look to see. Of course, you know that. You saw a bear get me that way. But if we come straight up the road, we would have been... Yeah, we would have been exposed. Yeah. I think they moved further back out of earshot range. Let's uh let's head on down there. I heard something run. I did too. Oh, uh, behind you, it's 7 o'clock, going through the woods. Oh, I just barely caught it. I don't even know what it was. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a deer or some kind of thing. It was coming up well behind the stand. Nope, there's one to our left. You just run with Yep. It. It's a buck, dude. Get low. Okay. Oh, that's an elk. No, that's an elk. That is all yours. He's being sneaky. Um, I wouldn't wait for a super awesome bow shot or anything. Yeah, I'm with a rifle. Yeah, as soon as he, he's going to come up this hill, that's going to be perfect. If he stops up there, you're all set. Oh, come on, stop. Yeah, he's big. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good shot. So that other one might have been an, another uh, elk then, the one that spooked. And we saw which way he went, so. I think they may have came all the way around. Do a quick, quick sweep of the area, see if we see any others hopping off. Yeah, I didn't see any. Man, they are sneaky, aren't they? Hell yeah. They were coming because we were making those calls and because we had the scent down, but they weren't calling out at all. I got them, I got them propped up between two trees. Yeah, you do. That's funny. Yeah, get behind it. Get behind it so you're kind of looking over his back towards me, like between his antlers. Keep going. Keep going between the two trees. All right, get your rifle out there. That's a funny picture. <laughs> That's a good picture, dude. I'll get back behind you, and you should be able to get your camera set up and just switch over to your rifle. I think you have to use one through whatever to switch. Should have to hit the space bar and it should say switch equipment or something like that.
pretty good shot. <laughs> good. Awesome. Well, let's check out that one that took off this way. No point in walking aimlessly looking for an elk, a male elk, when we're pretty sure that there's, we know exactly where there is one. This was I got a fleeing over here. Okay, okay. Follow that one. I guess my tracking isn't as good as I thought it was with elk because I'm not seeing whether it's male or female. That's kind of weird with the tracks. I'm seeing the weight. Yeah, this is this is the way I saw it go. Also. Okay, to your right, to your right along, at the water. I see him. I see his butt. That's a female, it looks like. Yeah, it is. 260 to 360, that was what I was tracking with the tracks that we were following. Okay. Skipper. Yeah. Only thing I might do is get rid of her tracks. That's the only thing I'd do that for. Yeah, if you want to go up and bow, get her with the bow. Try to get rid of her tracks. That that might be helpful as far as us tracking down. So we've got tons of tracks around here. Yeah, let me give that a shot real quick. Because I got trees. Put your uh, send eliminator on. But you should be able to get within 22 meters of her. Make sure you use your rangefinder to. come down beside you. Should be able to Oh you're gonna take a shot. I'll follow her here with the range fighter. She's running straight down the straight down the water. I didn't have much in place to go. I to turn back up. Yep. Okay. I'm walking right towards where I last saw her. And we'll stop there and see what kind of blood it is. See what kind of blood it was. It's not telling me. Huh. You didn't see any blood where you initially hit her? No, oh, there was blood, but it didn't say anything. Oh, okay, let me run back and check. My skill just that low.
body shot. But that didn't mean anything last time. Last time he had a long yeah, shot. Still on the trail? Yeah, tracks are overlapping. Tracks are what? Her tracks are overlapping. Yeah, I hate that. She left where she came in. Can you go back to the last track you know that was uh, hers? Yeah. That, that way I can pick up the right track. Should say the last one that was hers in fleet. And yeah, there's blood right here. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I don't think that one's that coming in. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty close, too. I think that's the one you were looking at. But I think oh, there's one way out I think here. I found it out here. Yeah, it's out here. Actually, I found one before you, it looks like here. Uh, this right where I'm at. Out. Okay. She, you found her body? Yeah. She's into the water. That's pretty realistic from what I understand. That shot was a little farther back. No, that's definitely one body. Oh, you got the right lung, though. Yeah, still a good shot. Do you want a picture or just harvester? No, I just harvester. It doesn't matter. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, I know that to take a peek back into this field. Right towards the back of the field where we know the males were, because I don't think those males were part of this group over here. Because I don't remember seeing one with that big of a rack uh, when we saw the the huge one and then the three other males. None of them had as big a rack as the one that you brought down last. So that makes me think they were a different group. Plus, they came in from a completely different direction. Speaking of, I yep, he's down the road. All right, let's call out. You heard that, right? Oh yeah. He's on the he's on the other corner of that. Yeah. Yeah. Get a peek at him. We'll call him out to the uh, field if possible. Same one. He's talkative. Man, he's quick. He moved up real quick. Wow. Alright, let's head back to the uh, tree stand. I'll bring him back a little bit of time. I don't want to put too much distance between him and us, otherwise I'll get lost. Might be able to see him from here if I can look up the road a little. Looks like he's just off the road up in the trees, maybe. There may be more than one because they. Well, that was the same. It was the same call. Them. I see him. I see him moving oh, back there, way back there. Yeah, he's he's moving around quickly. Let me mark him here where I'm seeing him. Okay, if you look at your hunter mate, you should be able to see my red dot. That's where I'm seeing yeah. him. Right straight back. You'll see him move in between yeah, the trees. I can, I can see him on your feed on, on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cheap. I feel like I'm cheating. I <laughs> know, yeah.
That was a new trail. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down some scent out here. Try to draw them in because they seem a little agitated. Like, I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of running around in weird circles. No, they're lay down some friends are disappearing. Yeah. And then if you, yeah, you're already heading towards the stand. Towards the tower. Yeah, Good. Sir. Good. I'm going to lay down some scent here. Scent's more powerful than uh, calling from what I understand. So I don't know once I get behind the scent like I'm like I am now coming towards the tower. I don't know if my calls even matter. I don't know if they override the scent. Wish I had my ground blind. It's a perfect place for it. Oh, I see one. See him coming right between the trees. Uh, how close? Give me a range. Is he out towards the back? Uh, he, he, well, he's at the edge of the, the trees. The very oh. edge. Okay, so he's not he's flanking me or anything. No, no, he's going to be in the sunlight right now. Yep. Okay. And there's oh, yes. another one off to his left. Yep. About the same distance. Okay. There's two. Yeah, they're smaller. Oh, no, the one to the right's big. Bigger. Not as big as the, uh... Well, he's pretty, he's pretty, oh, four to five hundred, 350 max score, so. Nope, there's three, there's three total, sorry. Okay, I'm coming back to the stand, to the, uh, they're, tower. They're almost equidistant apart, the big one, and then there's two to his left. Okay. Now, if you see them, uh, have their, I don't know if it, if they do it with, uh, elk, but the deer, if their tails go, like the white tails or muleys, if their tails go straight up, and they lift one paw off the ground, it, almost like a dog pointing, they start kind of kicking yeah. at the ground. It means they're yep. they're keyed in on you, so you better make your shot. Because they're about to bolt. They know something's wrong. No, they're still moving in. It's their, in. It's their, uh, it's their uh, Bambi sense. Their Spidey sense. Cool. Okay. What the hell just ran? Something behind. That was a... Uh, I just... Yeah, that was a... I can't tell. It was a small male. If it was a male, it might have been a female. No big deal. That shouldn't affect them. He ran the exact opposite way, so that's fine. You want to take the wall on the right again? Yeah, I will. I will once up. once I get closer. Let's see. Oh, okay. The other one's in the shadows. Okay. Yep. I think the one on the right's the biggest. Oh, definitely. 315 is the max score on the one on the left. 190 is the one on the middle, so he's the smallest. And the max score is 350 on the one in the right dead ahead. Leading the charge. Yeah, the one you, I'm going to try to take a shotgun. One you shot earlier shot with him. 355. Yeah. Not right now. He's way too far out there. But uh, once he gets in closer, I will. I think this is a one and a half or two x uh, sight on the shotgun. It definitely gives you some sort of magnification. I think. Maybe not. Do a little call out here too. Well, if you want to try taking the one on the left, when I take the one, you can either, I'll count down from three, two, one, when I take my rifle shot, and then, you know, you can try to take it. I'll try to get them so they're both stopped at the same time. Would you use the red light, green light system? If, uh, if I have a shot, I'll say green light, and when it starts moving, I'll say red light, and you can say green light whenever you get a get yours to stop. Just in case yours is out of frame and I can't see yours. Yeah, they're all three are in my rifle scope right now. That's kind of funny. Yeah, we line up and you get a real gunshot. It's possible. there. You could almost do it now. <laughs> yeah, that is very funny. That 
that third one comes up, you might get three. Screw it, I'm gonna try something. I can't. You want to hit him right in the hind quarters, the the lead one. I was gonna go through his neck and then into the next deer. Hopefully, I don't know if it would work or not. That's even. Oh, well, no, it's the hind quarters. Not from where I'm standing. It's not. Hold on. Watching that lean one, they're both in the same direction. I didn't drop any of them. That was horrible. I think I got the one in the head, though. Or in the neck, at least. Should There should be some sort of damage. I was trying to trick shot. Yeah, they, they, uh, they all ran where they came in at. Yep. Makes it confusing to track them. Apart from the fleeing part, but once they start roaming again, it makes it tough. We'll catch back up to them. I got blood. Body shot, it said. I was hoping I'd hit a vertebrae or something like that and drop it. It looked like I hit him in the head, though. Lost my blood trail. Where'd it go? This is going to get confusing quick. Yeah. Even if you find here. blood. Okay. Yeah, I think this is it. It's a smaller one. There's one that goes up to 500 pounds. That one was 480 or something like that. Holy crap, there's a lot of... <laughs> you'll be able to level up to about level 20 out here. Yeah. <laughs> I found the blood. Here we go. Come on back here so you get the right one. Yeah, so you get the right one going. It's right right here. Now I'm guessing the one right behind you is is incoming rather than outgoing. Oh no, it's blood again. Blood and are bleeding pretty good. Blooding pretty good. Yeah. Ah, behind the pine tree in front of us. Solitary country. Yeah, I think the 
the bigger one went off to the right. Well, I can tell. Okay. Oh, there's two in a row. There's two in a row. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them in a row. Look, look up the, look up there. Oh, there he is. He's dead. He's up ahead. Yeah, we'll go back and uh, track that huge one. We'll let you get to get that one. Intestines is what I'm getting now. That's weird. It looked like I hit him in the head, didn't it? This well, isn't. This is the bigger one. You hit the. Then I went through. Well, that would be weird. Yeah, this is the this is the this is the bigger one. Well, I hit the other one in the head, so <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Maybe I had. Maybe I did do it. Double. I don't know. Okay, let me get behind it here. Try. I'm gonna pull it over here. I think. I gotta be close enough to harvest it. 